All right, what's going on, everybody? Today, I want to talk Baofangs. And a lot of people have Baofangs, and specifically, what I want to talk about is the squelch issues it has. And I'm hoping to get a fix for you guys um, in this video because what I've found, the information has been out there a long time. Um, but what I found has actually helped transform my Baofangs to where I don't want to just chuck them out the window going down the road because I I actually this was the last straw for me this Baofeng UV uh, 9R Pro this one was the worst out of all of them and I'll explain to you guys some of you probably know this already but I'll explain why it sucks so bad and so that's been people's experience including mine some of them are terrible some of them are pretty good and I was like, what the hell? I can't be the only one having problems with six out of 10 bow fangs that I have. I've got a lot. Cause I gave them chance after chance after chance. I was like, well, maybe they're gonna fix it this time. And they never did. And then, like I said, this was my most recent one I bought because it was waterproof. I'm like, all right, I'm gonna check it out. I'll give bow fang one last chance. <laughs> and, uh, so what the problem is, it's not the radio, it's the settings and the, the firmware. And I'm gonna show you guys. So when I first bought Baofangs, it was, I think they came out in 2012 or no, yeah, 2012, something like that. But I bought a few of the original UV five R's and, um, but programming them with Chirp, um, you only had so many options and then the squelch issue still kind of remained. But um, back in 2016, so this article I found, I'm gonna switch over here, try and get to this information quickly so you guys can get to it on your radio um, if you don't know this fix. So back in 2016, this article was uh, written and I'm going to bring the link here for you guys. It's M I K L O R.com. Um, but I'll put it in the description. And, um, so this, I'm just going to read this cause this is the best way to, to get it to you guys it says adjusting this internal squelch levels. And this says UV five R UV 82 F eight HP and 82 HP series, January, 2016. And these two guys here, Jim KC6HI and Tom KD4WOV, I'll give them the credit. So I don't know why I came across this. I think I just gave up on it back then before this change happened. Um, and then I was like, screw Balfang, I'm done with them. But then I go back to them, I'm like, all right, they suckered me in again, you know. But I digress. Let me go. So. Let me just read here. The factory internal squelch level settings have long been known to have little or no impact on the actual squelch range. The smallest noise burst would easily open the squelch regardless of settings zero through nine. Until now, it was one of those little quirks you just needed to tolerate. Well, I didn't really tolerate it, but then I come back, it's like, okay, you forget how crappy and irritating it is until you go back and then it's the same it says but no longer through the efforts of these two guys I mentioned um, a new service settings tab has been added to chirp well it's been so long since I've really been in there and messed around with chirp I never noticed the service settings I'm gonna show you guys that in a second but it goes through the compatibility um, it goes through the fix testing this one guy created the software. The other guy did lots of testing. Um, this article actually gives you down here, it gives you a sample of the settings. And I'm gonna show you guys what I've been experimenting with the settings on mine. And I'm telling you, man, it has made a world of difference for me. So here's, uh, this says spread six. Let's see what that, that gives you that look. Values and spread eight. I kind of went with my own. Let me go over here to uh, chirp and what I have. So this is the UV5R 
um, that I uploaded from Chirp. And over here you can see uh, it says memories and then it has settings and then basic settings, advanced other settings, work mode settings. And at the very bottom it says service settings. So click on service settings and it gives you the VHF squelch and then the values. You can actually change the values. Um, this is what I put on mine. And then, so that's VHF, and then it goes down to UHF settings. And this is what I have mine set at. Squelch zero would be obviously zero. And then I went, uh, the increments that I wanted, I, that I've kind of been messing with, I wanted a little bit of adjustment, and then I got a little bit higher when interference gets really bad, I can actually make a difference um, when I set it up to nine. But so one I have set at five, two I have at 10, three at 15, four at 19, five at 23, um, six at 30, seven at 39, eight at 50, and squelch nine at 63. So the article mentioned that this guy was saying settings um, up higher around 100 like he said um, in his testing squelch level set at 105 wouldn't let anything in it wouldn't even open the squelch so in the uh, firm pro the appropriate firmware if your radio has if it's if those supported radios and this article is in 2016, you guys. I haven't found any later articles. There's probably forums somewhere you can research if your uh, your Baofeng is compatible or not. But um, over 105, nothing was happening, so it wouldn't it wouldn't let any uh, signals come in at all. So um, that's basically it. You can see what I got there for settings. And then you just upload it to your radio. And then so when you go in and you say you get a, a signal, um, I had mine, I've been running mine about uh, between four and five, 19 and 23, but in a, uh, which is squelch five and six. And then if it gets real bad, but I've noticed in my area where I'm at, if I go over seven, uh, which is set at 39, um, if I go eight and nine, very little comes through. So I have to actually keep it down. So this, it actually made a difference. I'm not even kidding you guys. It has transformed how these radios have, have operated for me. Um, this UV nine R pro was seriously about ready to get chucked out the window. I was so pissed off and I can't believe that I haven't been back in here. It's just one of those things, you know, I got all these other radios and it still kind of pisses me off. Like, how are you going to know this when you, when you buy a, uh, a radio like my Linko uh, DJ VX 50, I don't have to worry about the squelch. I'm assuming my squelch settings are going to be set. I don't give a crap what the values internally are on it. Um, same with my Yesu or, or any other of my radios, even this little red of this. If you guys want a Baofeng alternative, go with this Redivis RT85. I'm going to do a review on this. There's lots of reviews out there, but um, I like this radio and no squelch issue from the beginning. It's just set and it works. So here's the thing too. When I uploaded the uh, the image from this radio, you download, to, you know, chirp the squelch level that they had the value on level nine was lower than it was on like two or three. And I'm like, all right, so I'm clear up at nine, which is really doing nothing because the, the squelch issue from the factory was lower than one or two. And I didn't know that. So just really just irritating. <laughs> I don't know why Baofeng does that. Just put in a good set of values from the beginning and, um, quit frustrating the hell out of everybody but same with this one this thing i was excited about getting this blue just for fun and then the radio just on cue man you just start scanning through static burst 
off and on throughout the day. I'm like, oh gosh, Baofeng, I just had enough. Um, but for real, the these settings have made a huge difference. And I have lots of Baofengs, lots of different varieties of them. UV 5R Plus, the 9R Pro. I've got this little 5R5, which is pretty cool. They've been making, that's the 2015 model. Um, I like the Baofengs, I really do. They're fun little radios if they work, but when you're ready to chuck them out the window because the static sucks so bad, the squelch it does nothing, It's it becomes not fun anymore. I've got this UV5RA. This one actually has a 2200 milliamp battery in it. Uh, so the 1800. Then I have multiple uh, UV5Rs. This is the uh, 5R2 Plus camo. I've got two other camo versions behind me back there in the in the pouches. But um, yeah, and then this GT3 TP. Um, I've got several black Baofengs, the UV5R variety. Um, let's see, I have um, the S, S9R or SR9, I believe it is. I've, uh, I've got two of those tribanders. I'm gonna do a review on those too. So I had all these Baofengs and I'm like, the hell if I'm going to do a review on such crap. I'm not doing it. So I seriously was re resisting doing uh, reviews on Baofeng radios because of that performance. And I'm telling you guys, at least from my experience, the ones that I have re went in and adjusted the squelch on in the settings there, and you might have to mess with it. Not every place, every situation is going to be the same. Uh, set it and experiment with your settings. So set it on scan and go through all your repeaters or frequencies or whatever and You know use it how you would use it and if you notice you need a little bit more or Less or whatever. Just give yourself a good spread there of um, You know on your on your numbers and you should have uh, Be able to cover it pretty good. I Like I said, I have yet to put it up towards uh, eight and nine. What is it here? Yeah, squelch at seven is value 39. Squelch eight at 50. I have yet to put it at eight and nine. In fact, I'm down, like I said, four and five, uh, six area. Sometimes three is just clear down to 15 if I'm in an area where the, uh, the interference isn't too bad. But man, if you guys uh, have bow fangs and you're pissed off about it like me, um, like I was, give this a shot, you guys, really. And I'm thankful for those guys. I'm just amazed that I didn't go back in and look at this back in whatever, you know, it's been uh, six years since this article came out. <laughs> I've been frustrated with Balfangs for six freaking years. Oh my gosh, I'm surprised. I was thinking of ways to do videos on how to blow these things up like take the AR-15 out there and some Tannerite or something. Maybe get some good views on that instead of doing reviews. Gee whiz. So that's all I got, you guys. But let me know if this helped you guys because, man, I, I've been so excited to actually get back and use these radios. This one, no joke, this one here was brand new out of the box. I have not used this radio in years I've had this radio probably six years something like that at least five years brand new out of the box just sitting there it's brand new um, and because it sucks so bad on the on the interference and I just said screw it I didn't realize that there was actually a fix for it so we learn something new every day and I'm I'm kind of embarrassed I didn't really look it up but like I said I don't have to worry about that stuff with Yesu or um, even this Redivis radio. This is not a bad radio, you guys. This has excellent receive. In fact, I think it has a little bit better receive than these the Baofengs do. Same with my uh, other Woshin. Like I put I put these next to the Baofengs, and I'm getting a better signal. So the the Baofengs are what they are, right? A uh, hundred fifty dollar radio should 
perform better than a, a $30 radio. But the fun factor and the variety factor is still there. It's, it's renewed um, some uh, faith, I guess, and fun in the hobby with these little radios because I like them. I think they're fun. Um, and I don't have to worry about breaking them too much and whatever. I just like, uh, I get bored easily sometimes, you know, I'm like, I want something new. So Baofeng's kind of fit that bill, but now that they actually work, I'll enjoy using them. And, um, I want to tell you guys one, one quick thing. Let me get this here. This is what I use with the Baofeng's. I use this Anytone speaker mic. I'll put a link below to some of these radios and the speaker mic. If you want a good speaker mic that makes the Baofeng sound really good, uh, I did an audio test between this, using this mic and say the Elinko and even the Yesu, um, and, and I actually did the Anytone uh, 878. And this sounded really good compared to those other ones too. So, excuse me, if you want the Anytone or if you want the Baofeng to sound good, and you'd like using speaker mice, go with this one. It's 27 bucks or something like that. It's as much as the radios are. <laughs> uh, but it's worth it. It's the best speaker mic that I've found. So uh, affiliate links below for a lot of this stuff. But uh, man, I just wanted to tell you guys, I'm excited. I hope you guys are too. And if you like the Baofeng radios, there's a lot of variety. Like I'm, I'm just keep going here but there's a lot of variety and a lot of uh, accessories for these things the good batteries and all that stuff but now that it actually works better not great but better um, the squelch problem is all but it's really a non-issue for me at this point at least with the radios that I've done so thanks for watching you guys have a good one and we'll catch you later let me know what you think uh, about uh, the video and like and subscribe and i'd like to hear your comments down below on uh, your experience so thanks for watching have a good one